Hello, fellow administrators. Welcome to One More Guide. This time, we'll be talking about Ukuni Nushi. In ancient Japan's mythology, she's the god of agriculture, medicine, and protective magic, which had, as one of your symbols, the rabbit of Inaba, because of the legends between both. In Ether Gazer, Uku is one of the modifiers responsible for the scientific research, being a valuable member of the cryptics. Until now, she rarely had any major participation in battle, but she loves inventions and tarot cards. Now, let's work. As you guys know, Uku is one of the first units released in the game, and was one of the most important center support units to have in our teams, until Hera, Ling, and other units with better kits and numbers got released. However, after she got her well-deserved module, things changed, and she received the nickname Standard Hera in our community. The reason is that after her module, Uku got the demerit of her red ether code removed and now is able to buff your team with ATK crit rate. And if you have her SIG key, she'll give crit damage as well. When we start talking about ether codes, there's no complications. You can only decide between red and a mix of red and yellow, which consists of two lines from red and one line from yellow. The full use of red is to make her a center support, while the use of two red, one yellow is the attempt to make her a damage dealer. My guide is mainly focused in making her a center support, but since the build is almost the same, I'll help those who wants to make her a damage unit as well. But please, remember, when you try making her a damage dealer unit, you need to have her at 3S rank and above. Also, you'll need her SIG key for full effects from the module as well. As you guys can check below, Uku as a support relies a lot on her skill one, which is the main source of her buffs. This skill, despite not dealing damage, is capable to give three effects that can work simultaneously if you cast them before the time runs out. Through the names of tarot cards, Uku can give ATK buff under Death's card, Rage gain under Chariot's card, and she can heal allies under Lover's card. In the structure of her skill, one, if Uku uses a different card from the previous, the effects of this card will be increased by 50% of the normal effects of the card applied, bringing a huge improvement in dire situations. Before the implementation of AI chip, it was necessary to hope that she picked the ATK buff, but after the AI chip, you safely expect that Uku will only use Death and Chariot. Red Ether Code basically consists to increase the effects and at the same time optimize the performance of her skill one. When comparing, the mix of red and yellow provides an increase in terms of damage, thanks to the improvements of the lines one and two from red and the armor break effect brought by the line one of yellow. For combos, she's not complicated to use. Instead, she's pretty simple, but her SIG key will change how her skill three works. If you don't have her SIG key, be careful because her skill three will become a close range skill to be used, while when she have her SIG key, skill three will become a range skill. That's why her signature key, or SIG functor if you prefer, is the best option to be recommended, and also because of the module effect. However, if you don't have and can't obtain her SIG key right now, you can consider these other options. But do understand, the five-star Genzone key is recommended for damage, while the four-star Gacha key is more okay to be used as support. For damage, Ukininushi will rely a lot on her skill three, thanks to the effect of her ultimate which will help to reset the skill and making her use it more times. Unfortunately, as you guys can see, Ukuninushi requires too much rage in her skills, two and three, as a method to compensate the absence of cost in her skill one. With this info, now we need to decide which sigils to pick for her. In the current patch, 3.0, our server have two builds for her that you can safely build and won't ever remove. One is the standard setup, Lion and Spartan, which can be safely used for either support or damage, while the second setup is Sans and Spartan, which is focused in making her a specific support for physical teams, and it's highly recommended if you don't have Sekhmet. Sans is a limited sigil released in patch 2.11, and it's not recommended to use two sets of it in the team because it won't stack. You can also consider using Uku as a filler unit to replace Kuramitsuha in Izanami's team. Despite not being equal to her, Uku can hold the battle until you obtain Kura for Izanami. You just need to include Iceberg, since it's a sigil which affects doesn't require specific ice elemental damage. Even still, please,
do consider pulling at least one copy of Kura or Sek, since both units are extremely good for each element. For warps and enchants, just follow as explained below, giving priority to Evolution Particle 1 in warps and to both ATK, Loopback and Burning Will enchants, according to each setup you decided to follow. In team compositions, Uku as support can be placed in any team, but if you plan to use her as damage or combine her with any of these options, I highly recommend Heimdall. If you're a new player and you still don't have Heimdall, then you can consider Hodur. That's all for now, dear administrators. Pay attention to my other guides dedicated to each unit mentioned here. Soon, I'll be uploading my guides for Ji Ming, Hera, and one more unit that I'm still thinking. Also, I'll be making a few updates in my channel. Until next time.